And good evening, I'm Erin Burnett. Out front tonight, destruction and failure, as President Zelensky warns that Putin is potentially preparing to go nuclear. It is because seeing Russian cities like St. Petersburg to cancel New Year's celebrations. Instead, they say they're going to send the money to new equipment for the soldiers in the field. Koenig's with me now, of course, our senior in the Southern District of New York, here where we're sitting. All right, so Trump is going to get back some of the documents that were taken. As Evan's pointing out, that's because there was a filter team, right? They right. handed it, go through it, sort it. What you're supposed to get, you get. What you don't, you don't. It worked. That's what's happening. They have till Monday to return them. What do you read into all of this? Well, first of all, we have proof of life for the first time. We are seeing the special master, the special master in the first place. Right, right. Okay, so here's the thing, though. It's been two months yeah. since the search. Okay, and here we are. Now we're finally getting a letter from Trump's doctor to get returned to him. Yeah. Right, the two months, at, at Ellie. So Trump has tried to slow this down. The DOJ has consistently said, in the interest of national security, they need this to move as quickly as possible. Right. Okay, two months sounds like Team Trump is winning on the delay. Is that fair or no? They are. It, it's a lose-lose situation. Now, the judge pulled the special master off of that position, so Trump was spared, but eventually he's going to have to back up those claims. But DOJ is getting nowhere. I mean, like you said, we are too delay, delay, delay. He's winning on that score. Yes, and I want to point out to the viewers, of course, that CNN has confirmed that the Justice Department believes that Donald Trump still has documents from the White House. And after all of this and the search and everything, that he still has documents that he, they've asked him for and he won't give them back, which is absolutely stunning to just stop and pause and consider that. All right, out front next, the state uh, uh, first uh, out front new number. Finally tonight, an update on a story we've been following closely as protests in Iran tonight continue over the death of a 22-year-old woman. She died in the custody of the morale. Time now for Anderson.